Hello everyone and welcome to the sets and booleans lecture. So in this lecture we're going to learn about two more other object types um, and one is the data structure sets and the boolean object type which is basically just a true and false display in Python. Um, this is the Jupyter notebook that corresponds with this lecture so let's just go ahead and start coding and go through it. Okay so sets can be thought of as an unordered collection of unique elements. And that's the important part, the fact that those elements inside of that set are unique. So you can construct a set using the set function notation. So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm gonna make a set and I'm gonna call, I'm gonna label it with the variable X here. So now X is a set. Great, right now it's an empty set. So how do I add um, elements to that set? So I use the add method, which is going to be x or whatever uh, variable you decided to call your set dot add for add. And you can add whatever objects you want to it. So I'm going to say x dot add one. And if I check now what my x is, it's going to look um, and add that one into that set. So something interesting here, you notice that the notation is curly brackets. So this actually does not indicate that it's a dictionary although you can draw analogies as a set, almost like being a dictionary, but with only the keys. Because remember, in a dictionary, you can't have multiple keys being the exact same thing. You can only have unique keys. And you can kind of think of as a set as just a dictionary, but only keys that are unique. So let's go ahead and add um, a different element to our set, which is called x. So let's go ahead and add the number 2 to it. Now I check that I have 1 and 2 in my set. So what happens if I try to add the same elements um, that's already in there? So we know one is already in there. So what happens? So you realize there's actually no change. It won't place another one in there um, like it would if it was like a list or something. And that's because a set's only concerned with the unique elements. So you can actually use that set function to cast something like a list um, with multiple repeat elements to get the unique elements. And I'll show you an example of what I mean by that. So I'm going to say L is equal to um, a list. And in this list, I'm going to have a couple ones, a couple twos, a couple threes, and then like a four. So notice how I have um, repeated out items or elements in that list that occur more than once. So if I take that list and cast it, remember we kind of uh, use casting as a term back for using float and casting numbers as floats. So if I use sets of L, Notice that the set's going to grab all those unique values. So 1, 2, 3, and 4 are the unique values in that list. And that's basically the gist of sets. So remember, sets um, are only concerned with the unique elements, and you can create them by calling this empty set function, and you can add to them with this dot add method. So sets are going to be a super useful tool, and we'll come back to them later on throughout the course as a really unique tool because of this feature that they are only concerned with unique elements. All right, let's go ahead and move along to Booleans. So Python comes with Booleans, which are basically predefined true and false displays, um, almost like integers one and zero. So it also has a placeholder object called none. And let's go ahead and walk through a couple of examples of this. So I'm going to say a is equal to true. Run that cell, and now if I show a, it um, shows out true. And we can also use comparison operators to create booleans. So we haven't gone over specific comparison operators. Uh, we'll go over them. There's an entire section on this course for them. But I'm just going to show you a quick example. So I can ask, is 1 greater than 2? And the output will be a boolean, which is false, since 1 is not greater than 2. And we'll go over all these different symbols and what they mean later on in the course. And let's go ahead and switch this. Let's say, is 11 greater than 2? Then the output of the boolean is true. OK. So we can also use none as a placeholder for an object that we don't want to reassign yet. And what I mean by none is the actual word none with capital N there. And now B is going to be a placeholder. And you notice nothing popped out when I set that um, cell to run, since it's literally none. And then I can reassign it to maybe a string. And now B is 
equal to a or the string of a. Okay, so that's it. It's just a super basic understanding of sets and booleans. We'll touch upon them later on throughout the course. So just a quick review, if we hop over back to this Jupyter notebook, um, sets are an unordered collection of unique elements. You construct them using this set function and you can add to them with this add method. And remember they have curly brackets, but that doesn't mean they're a dictionary, although you can draw analogies as a set being a dictionary with only keys. Okay. Remember you can also use set to cast another data structure such as a list to only get the unique values out of it. Then we went over booleans, which are basically just true and false, and we went over none use as a placeholder. Okay, so we'll learn way more and see booleans a lot more when it comes to comparison operations later on in the course. Um, and we'll also go over them throughout the course. They're gonna be super useful to have logic within our code. Okay, so that's about it. And I'll see you at the next lecture. Thanks.